Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Capricorn. Hope you're all well. This is a fun bonus reading, a themed reading. Where will you meet your next person? Okay, there we go. Whew. Some kind of event, creative, a place of creativity, outdoors, some place where you're making music or there's music, art, photography, that kind of energy, okay? Yeah, there is something going to start moving here. Yeah, this could be a place, yeah, there's a lot, wherever it is that you're having fun, There's you're going to plan this, going to this place. You're going to meet this person. Uh, they will definitely want to make plans with you. This could be you making that intention to take those steps forward. So, so this is Spirit's way of telling you uh, to think of creative places to go. Okay, that you like to go, that make you happy, that you enjoy, that you will enjoy yourself. Okay, because you will have a higher vibration at that point. So this could be somewhere out in the public. It literally could be a park or a fair. And I know a lot of people, there's not a lot of that going on. So it could be just someplace out in your community. It's like the Three of Cups energy, uh, where there's a lot of creative energy, outdoor music, um, art festivals, things like that, photography. Yeah, beautiful. I see the ocean. I see the great outdoors. I see uh, making plans. I feel like you're going to do this. This is going to be an intention. <laughs> yeah, you got somebody who's going to definitely you're going to connect with. I feel that, yeah, look at that. So you have somebody here who's been hurt, but they're ready for love. They might be a little afraid of reaching out at first, okay? But they will they will approach you. They will take this action to come towards you. So wherever it is that you're planning to go, take if you have the intentions of going somewhere, spirits telling you to do it. Okay? Take those steps to go someplace. Plan it and do it because you'll meet this person. So look at that and they will make plans with you. They will come towards you. Yeah, look at that. There's a lot of possibilities with this person. Okay, see that energy? Fantasizing, thinking, making a decision. And this person's going to run into you. It's somewhere out in the community. You may have friends around you, that kind of thing. There's people around. They might be a little afraid. Um, they might have a little fear of reaching out. But this is someone who is definitely ready for love. Okay, this is someone who's ready for love. You've got a King of Cups energy. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possibly, doesn't have to be. It's someone who, they're a little afraid to reach out, one foot in the door and out. It's possible you could be dating other people they don't know, but they're going to do it. They're going to move towards you. So, yeah. And then we have three more cards. Yeah, this person's definitely going to want to charge towards you quickly. Okay, yeah, they may stand back a little bit, feel like maybe there's no hope. You may have other people coming towards you as well. Wow, Capricorn, yeah. So they may kind of hold back and feel like they're going to get rejected. You may notice this person. They'll kind of be standing back and watching you talking and, and communicating with someone else and then kind of feel there's no hope. So pay attention. Turn around and look behind you and around you. Yeah, there, yeah. <laughs> I think you could like this person. They might be afraid you're going to reject them. I don't feel like you will. Look at that. No. I don't think so. You're you're going to go for it. Do you see the possibilities with this person? But yeah, they just want to make sure that you don't have another person. And you may have options. You may have other people coming towards you. Like I said, uh, there's a little fear of rejection. But I feel if you don't, you're going to miss an opportunity. Spirit's telling you to turn around and walk. There'll be somebody who is maybe acting, you know, like... Uh, Oh, there's no hope of reaching out to you. There's somebody else. There's other people reaching out, coming in quick. But they'll take that action. They will go for it eventually. So if you watch it and you see it, don't miss an opportunity spirit saying, okay, this person will not want to miss the opportunity regardless. They will take that necessary action. So this could move very quickly. Yeah, you may have a couple of offers. You may reject one for the other and the other person may not like it but you know what do what's right for you okay but see that you're you're gonna go for this you have some options here you may be going someplace where you feel there's lots of options out in the open at a public event it's telling you to do it plan what you're gonna do and do it there's your person so there's that king of cups tell me about this event this creative endeavor 
see a lot of abundance whatever is going there's lots of positive flowing energy there's a lot of people i feel tell me about this event it doesn't have to be a lot of people but there's definitely people it's definitely a community thing or just getting out in the community maybe you're planning to take action to you're taking those steps necessary but you have to have the right intentions as well you see yeah capricorn creative energy let's get some clarity i don't want to accept anything till i focus on that creative endeavor what is this event this place what is this place yeah so something is gonna there's things are gonna go in your favor i feel yeah you're gonna make a decision here and you're gonna go for it and yeah i see some libra energy being very clever using your head making this decision to get out and have fun to meet someone in your community this is going to go in your favor it says there's a something is ending an old cycle okay you're ready to put something behind you you're ready to you've gone through maybe some kind of healing and it's telling you to make a decision to go for it this person will also make the decision to approach you even though they're a little afraid that they may they may get hurt <laughs> there's some Somebody is kind of soft they're slightly cautious okay they don't just trust completely right away it takes them a little bit of time uh, they may have also been hurt you may have that in common as well you're gonna have to hurt someone here if there's two people coming after you though um, you're gonna reject the person who you may reject the person who kind of goes off in a huff and turns their back they rush in quick um, yeah, you're going to go for the water sign person here, the person who's calm and takes their time. They might be a little shy. Um, this is somebody quite romantic, though, I can tell you that. You are going to see the possibilities. You will have to make a choice. Wow. Or they have possibilities and they're going to choose you. Yeah, so you got a couple. There's a few people. You've got the water sign and you got a fire sign. Somebody here is very fun, loving, very focused. They're going to charge in. They're going to take control. So I feel they could be somebody kind of controlling. Um, yeah. It could be this person's whole energy as well. It could be just this one person making that choice. Okay. Uh, they may want to reach out, talk to you, ask if you're seeing anyone else as well. But I kind of feel you're going to reject one person or one person's going to feel like there's no hope that you may reject them. This is all going to happen very quickly. Okay. I see fast moving energy. So planning and action. Yeah. So there is some kind of plan to do with a foundation, a home, a house, um it could be a house a neighborhood party uh, as well okay with friends family you may meet this person they may be in charge of it actually the, you may have somebody who invites you to this <laughs> and then you connect with somebody else it's quite possible i see that happening yeah it kind of looks there's some sort of um it could be a celebration or a get together a wedding a you know something like that oh it's definitely outdoor uh, i feel that outdoor energy yeah, neighborhood, friends, family. You got one person who isn't afraid if you have people around you. They'll come leaping in quick. Uh, then this other person's going to feel kind of like, oh, I'm being rejected. But I don't think you will. I actually feel you're going to reject this person. You're going to turn your back on that person. <laughs> You're not going to be very popular if somebody invites you to some sort of, uh, could be a backyard barbecue, anything like that, right? And uh, because they want to come in and take control, but I think you're going to go for the other person if there's two. If there's only one, it's this one person's energy. So yeah, there's something evolving. It's in your neighborhood, in your world. It's not far. You may have to travel a little bit to go to this event. Um, wow. Wow. It's telling you to dis make a decision. Whether you make this decision to go to this, I say go for it, Capricorn. Yeah, trust your intuition, your gut. It's going to be giving you little messages. Do it. Get out there. It's This is where you're going to meet your person. Tell me about this King of Cups. What is their intentions? Yeah, this person's manifesting you. They are going to manifest you, that even though they're a little afraid, right, that you may not be interested, <laughs> that there may be another person. Yeah, third party or not. I think somebody is going to get rejected here you got two people who want you and at this event you're going to pick the person that's emotional okay 
Yeah, you might feel a little frustrated, like a little bit of an uphill battle, but you will reject one. You and you're because you're not going to miss an opportunity with somebody who's ready for love for sure. Okay, uh, but like I said, if it's that same person, they will take this action. They will come towards you. Okay, they could be somebody you. I mean, they may invite you to something in your neighborhood, a neighborhood get together, barbecue, whatever it is. Just a bunch of people sitting around in the backyard. I don't know, but it does look like a community thing or a neighborhood thing and your intuition is going to be telling you to do it to do it all right so this person's manifesting you so they may feel if somebody else comes towards you and like i said turn around and look around to see who that person is who kind of turns their back uh, because you're talking to other people maybe feeling like you don't you're not interested uh, i feel like you will reach out to them someone's definitely gonna um yeah, don't miss an opportunity with this person's spirit saying they'll be open, be friendly. I see you facing this. Like, I, it, you know, like you're ready for this. You're putting yourself out there. Tell me about this three of swords energy. There we go. Yeah, so there's someone here who's kind of in their head. They want to win. They're manifesting you. Yeah, I feel like they're going to invite you to something and then someone else is going to try to cut in. Uh, or they kind of have one foot in the door and out because they're not sure all right if you have other options or you have other people around you i feel there's going to be people around you uh, they're going to take charge of this situation if there's one night yeah romantic flirtatious <laughs> a sudden love affair yeah they want to figure you out they're trying to figure out here they want to win they don't want to give up they're going to be watching. Yeah, if there's someone else around you, that they could be a player. So you're going to have to figure out which one. Okay, that's the only obstacle I see here. So we'll see where this goes. Yeah, so you're going to go for the person that's very emotional. Yeah, there's someone here who's <laughs> definitely going to figure out how to share that cup of love with you. Yeah, this is somebody who definitely wants a family. They're a, this is somebody who wants a commitment. Uh, they may have one foot in the door at first, so you may not be sure and decide to just keep your options open at this event, whatever it is, and there's somebody else is going to charge in. I think the other person's going to feel like it's hopeless. <laughs> oh, what's really going on here? Tell me about this Seven of Cups. Yeah, you got some options at this event. This person may be afraid to reach out okay but they're going to try to figure out how to reach out how to come towards you they kind of aren't sure i don't think this person likes rejection they're a little afraid make a choice what is this choice oops what is this choice there we go yeah so they will offer you something you may get a few offers Someone here is kind of fast. They like to be in control. They're flirtatious, fun. Uh, they like to, it's whoever it is. This is somebody who, somebody here may be a house builder. They build homes or maybe there's some kind of celebration to do with a renovation or something in a neighborhood, okay? You're getting invited or you're thinking of a place to go, okay? And whatever it is, it's in your neighborhood. But I think somebody else is going to be the one planning this, making the decision to invite you to take charge. Uh, the, or it could be the person who's in charge of this event, the property owner, who's trying to manifest you, trying to figure out how to express themselves to you. Uh, they're very traditional. They'll do things in a traditional manner. Uh, yeah, so this come out. Yeah, they will offer you something. They'll be very sweet and say some sweet things. It's someone who kind of keeps their feelings to themselves till they're sure. And I feel as though you may take a little time to figure out too, like, whether how you feel about this person but it's telling you you could miss an opportunity here if you're not open to it that's what i feel for most of you tell me about the night or you're gonna have somebody else who <laughs> someone might be a bit of a player and you might be worried about that with one of them if there's two that's where that's the tough decision but i feel this someone here who's very emotionally open and available they're gonna say and do some sweet things um, they're going to do nice things for you. They may offer you a drink or, you know, that kind of thing at this place, this event. Yeah, teamwork, cooperation, compromise. There's three of you involved here. Someone's not going to like it because you're going to connect and be talking to someone. So turn around and watch every once in a while. This person may feel like it's hard to get close to you because other people are right there. <laughs> yeah. 
So the person who comes on strong that's going to cooperate and compromise that's heading right for you, they might be on some kind of path, you may see them coming. Uh, they're going to, but this is someone with one foot in the door and one out definitely. This isn't someone who's going to commit, I don't feel. So watch for the other person because if you reject them, I feel like the person who's inviting you to this thing <laughs> is a bit of a player. And I think this person kind of knows it, that this person is a manipulator. They're going to try to manifest you. They may say something to you to get you to um, see it, okay, quite possibly. Uh, something going on here. Tell me about this five of cups energy. There we go. Yeah, so there's your offer. You're going to look at it. So you're going to be uh, procrastinating a little, looking at the details, it's telling you to pay attention to what's going on around you, this offer, this communication. I think you're going to reject the homeowner or the person who initially invites you and go for someone else. I do, because I think you know you're going to miss an opportunity. You might be a little unsure, like you don't want to miss an opportunity with this person. I mean, they own, they may own property and a home, and they have all this wonderful stuff going on, right? They have all the tools. They have everything, you know. There's someone who's got it all going on, but I think... And you're going to be a little unsure. Uh, I see this communication, this offer, right? There you are looking at it. Not so sure. Take your time. Tell me about. Yeah, don't. don't see, it's failing to recognize a magical opportunity. Uh, missing the point, being distracted by somebody else. Somebody sees you being distracted by someone. They, Yeah, they're like, oh, I'm never going to get close to Capricorn. They will eventually reach out. They're a little shy, a fear of rejection. Yeah, they're a little bit shy or they have something to communicate with you. Uh, you're going to like it. You're going to accept that cup. Uh, I feel very much. I do. Yeah, I think you're going to go for it. I see success. Yeah, I see some solid communication. Uh, just speak your truth. Yeah, you're going to get it. Eventually, at the last minute, you're going to go, aha. I mean, you might get some kind of communication. I wonder who it is. <laughs> to have, the, have the, some kind of an epiphany about who to choose out of these couple people if there's two if it's just one person they are trying to figure out how to share their feelings with you how to be open put it all on the table all right they see you as a happy loving person they are very loving they want a family this is someone who's ready for a commitment so yeah they might want to just ask if you're seeing anyone else. You will speak the truth. You're ready for love. It's telling you to speak the truth if you're ready for love. Okay, let this person know. But if you're making a choice and you get some kind of communication or something, your intuition to do with the communication, sort of, you know, you have an aha moment, You will. I think you'll make the right choice here. So tell me about this offer. Tell me about the offer with the Ace of Pentacles. What is this offer with the Ace of Pentacles? What is the offer? There we go. Ah, yeah. Look at that. You may get a few offers. Yeah, looks like you got a few, but it could be to get together later. I feel this person, um, yeah, they can't get close to you because you got people around you and they feel like they're being rejected or they can't get a moment with you. So remember to turn around and look behind you. Uh, you're going to get little intuition. You're going to have your intuition's going to uh, kick in here. So, wow. The truth, success. I see you going for it, and I feel it could lead to success. I see another date, possibly. Yeah, they definitely, you're going to see the possibilities in this. I feel like wherever this place is you're going, you're going there because there may be other possibilities. But the person who's inviting you might be a player, okay? So. Yeah, they might be somebody who's a little bit manipulative, but somebody else is going to out-manipulate them somehow, some way. Yeah, so I feel, yeah, this is someone who definitely wants to invest in commitment or marriage, right? Somebody who does things right. Uh, you want to make sure before you invest, okay? Yeah, definitely make sure they come in right. I feel they will. They're coming in right. They're speaking the truth. Uh, I feel that you're going to speak your truth. Yeah, you're, I think you're going to go for it. Be a little patient with this person too. Be a little patient. 
give them an opportunity to kind of open up a little more because generally they are very open okay uh, they just it's like you got people around you you're getting other offers they may witness other people talking to you so yeah it's all right spirit's going to give you a few little um, messages so pay attention to your intuition while you're at this event so it looks like fun uh, you just got someone here as a bit of a player the person who's inviting you yeah they just want things to be their way they're going to make this decision to just take charge and uh, come forward but this joyous fun with the seven of swords underneath is somebody who's a bit of a playgirl playboy type okay and this other person knows it too they know it they want to manifest you they know you're being possibly being manipulated it could be a friend of this person as well because i see that okay so just so you know wow like wow yeah somebody sees you as the one yeah they're going to single you out in the crowd in the group this is somebody you got this one person yeah they may have other people they know you're being manipulated they may have kept their other options uh, they just see you as an option you're going to get those little feelings so please watch them okay but i do think you're going to kind of be patient wait for some this person to come in right to invest properly and you, there is going to be truth i see success with this water sign um they could have gemini or virgo in their chart maybe libra uh, i kind of feel like this person up here aries leo sagittarius could have libra in their chart possibly or they have that player energy this is somebody who could hurt you okay uh, third party they have someone else the other person i think knows it yeah that you're being manipulated they may tell you say something they may drop you a little hint and then you're going to go aha uh -huh, okay and uh, you're going to connect with this other person so <laughs> make sure you know what this person's intentions are too and i think that's what spirit's going to tell you trust your gut you probably know maybe you know what their intentions are and you're going to just go to this event anyway and there'll be someone else there <laughs> like you might be just playing around a little too so yeah all right what is the outcome where could this lead with this water sign this king of cups they don't have to be a water sign yeah make sure you know what their intentions are their intentions are to discover more about you to learn about you okay and there's things during this event that you're going to discover about the person who invites you i feel there's going to be a little gossip something said maybe they hear something and they're going to tell you that this person uh, is only cooperating uh, long enough to kind of get what they want so somebody might drop you a note a hint so yeah so it's telling you to play it safe making sure you know what their intentions are at this event you're a very loving woman someone sees you that way and you're going there because you're looking for love and someone's going to see that so we got the king and queen of cups here they're your persons at this event uh, you're just gonna have to figure out how to <laughs> I don't see a fight an argument or anything i see you just being very calm and very patient uh, and very caring this person sees you as very caring they are a little shy because of maybe they they want to share something with you that you're going to get rejected or they feel they're going to or whatever or they know this person's going to just reject you for someone else uh, they're very much interested in there's that person with the wand right they see you as very sexy attractive um, they have other people pop possibly that they're involved with friends with benefits that kind of thing you may get a little warning from this person be careful they're not manipulating you too like i don't want to confuse you but that's going off on a path together right this is uh, a spiritual connection doing the right thing for yourself i feel as though you're going to go to this and then you're going to go off with this other person you may actually just take off together somewhere okay yeah it looks pretty fun to be honest and it looks it doesn't look like anything too heavy it's just something that happens and um so i think this person's figuring out what this other person's doing you're getting that hint that message that communication someone feels there's no hope they may turn their back you may wonder who it is that's reaching out well, you will eventually figure it out and um yeah they're that this is somebody who definitely wants to 
This is commitment material. Someone who's faithful, loyal. They might be telling you this other person's not faithful, not loyal as well. That's what, you know, like they know something. They know you're being manipulated. They feel very compassionate, like they need to tell you. Um, that might set you off and you might not be sure who's manipulating. Okay, just make sure you get on the same page with this person. Ask all the questions. Make sure they come in right that it is the truth. I feel like it is the truth. Okay, I do. I feel like they're speaking the truth. So, all right, Capricorn, there you go. Crazy. So let's see when this is going to happen. Capricorn, what month is this happening? I got all 12 months here. If, it, if you see January, February, it may happen next year. Okay, there we go. February, I just said that. So, And it could be somebody with a February birthday. Um, so that would be, let's see, Aquarius, Pisces. So it may not, I, I feel it's a summer thing for some reason. I feel outdoors. So... Um, they could be a Pisces, so that could be the person. Let's see, what month? When will this happen? Let's try again. When will this happen? When will this event happen? When will this take place? When will Capricorn meet this person? August. Okay, so it's going to happen in August, and it looks like they're a Pisces, possibly. Or an Aquarius. Aquarius with Pisces in their chart, possibly. I see air. I do see air energy. Um, I feel in probably pretty strong Pisces. So, but they don't have to be. All right. So it's just giving you a hint. Maybe they'll come across as that way. Somebody who's a little bit shy at first to sharing their feelings. So watch for that. All right. Take care, Capricorn. Bye for now.